Hi everyone and welcome to a kind of tutorial on Project Diva, um, the game series. I've uploaded a lot of videos beforehand, a lot of them have had to be taken down mainly because um, it contains music with the annoyance of YouTube and the way how partnerships and stuff work. You may be showing off the game and making sure that people buy the product because you think it's amazing, yet you still get hounded and taken off air and threatened to be removed from the world. So in the spirit of that, let's try to not be taken off the world, but show you exactly what, what the controls and how things work for Project Diva F Second, which is the latest game in the Project Diva series. Uh, but nothing is really different, it's just that every time they it comes out it adds a new um, thing to it. Ooh, extreme, hello. We'll have a look at that in a minute. <coughs> But, yes, let's see how this goes. I'll try and explain as things go along. So you've got the symbols on your normal controller, and as things fly into the screen, it will pass over its permanent shadow marker, essentially. And the same as triangle can mean up on the direction controller, circle, right, square, left, and X down. And now you can see, as things come down, you need to smack and press the button as it passes through. And you can do that with square or up, or triangle or up, sorry for that one. Now when you've got the arrows, you must press both up and triangle together to get the green right and circle to get the red one, just like that, X and down, square and left for the old pinky, make your sense, <clears throat> now these ones are ones where you hold in and you hold in for the duration of the bar and then let go on the second shadow. These were introduced on Project Diva Secondo. The very first one just had the symbols. The second one had these long ones in. Arrows, I think, were added in the second one as well. I can't remember now. God, I've got them all. Stars were added in the, sec the, the re one before this, Project Diva F, and these are using the analog sticks. Or, if you're on the PS Vita, you scratch the screen, or flick the screen, as you go through. Now, I find the sticks notoriously easy now new for this specific series is the chain thing and I don't think this works very well because you need to know exactly what the tempo is that it's going to play at for it to work also new is a double stick which becomes the W now twice normally in a game you have a technical zone or in a song you have a technical zone you must hit all of these notes um, in a cool or fine rating for you to essentially get given 5% onto your score and you can see the score is going across the bottom in a little bar <clears throat> and you have to reach that first little marker which is normally an 80% score for you to actually win so technical zones complete so my score got a little boost across the very bottom Ah, there you go, it's going to explain it. Now the first bar that it's going to hit across the bottom is standard, then after that you've got great, then excellent, and then if you perfect everything, then you'll get perfect. <clears throat> now chance time means that you have to get a certain amount of these parts right, and you can see the star builds up. Once it's full and multicoloured, like that, you will get a single swipe star. 
that will set off chance time. And what chance time does... There you go. Perfect! Is it... In the promotional video, it sets off something on the stage. The stage might explode into stars and stripes and all that kind of stuff. Um, or, in some other cases, it gives you a completely alternate video. So, that also gives you another, I think, 3%. Oh no, it's 5% for the chance time, 3% per technical bonus. And sometimes getting those right really does mean a difference between a great and an excellent. Um, and if you miss all three of those, you will struggle to get a standard. You really will. So they're the most important things. So long as you get them right, you'll be fine. There's a breakdown of your score. New record. Whoop me. <laughs> there we go. So let's see if I can put it all together now. I've not played Leaven Poker in Extreme. Or Even Poker in Extreme. This could be terrible. Especially because it's Extreme, which means it's going to be everything. Oh dear. Oh, come on. Although it's good to see it back as a song. It's always been the, it's been the demo ever since number two. Now I find when you get a row of stuff together, I alternate between the symbols and the direction controllers. struggle with. Yes, and look at that, just failed. <laughs> Not bad for a first go. Not bad for a first go. 79.9. I couldn't have been that closer if I tried. I shouldn't have given up on the bit before the end of the chance time. Oh well, I was cheap. The world is cheap. But that is the extreme version of Project Eva. It builds you up quite nicely to that, to be fair. But that is an explanation of how Project Diva the games work. Um, now that they're starting to come into English language, I hope more people buy them because I think they are some of the best driven games to have ever been made. You guys will take care. I look forward to seeing you again here in High Plane Games. Cheers.